so what is viscosity so whenever we talk about viscosity we often talk in terms of liquid or fluid in order to understand it better just visualize yourself in a place where it is pretty much crowded so there you would be facing a lot of frictions and you will have a hard time going ahead moving forward as compared to that if you are in a place which is quite spacious and less crowded so you will be moving ahead very smoothly so assume yourself a molecule and a lot of other people surrounding you might be some other molecules so now because in the crowded space you cannot move really forward because of the lot of friction lot of interaction between each other and that is the reason you move really slow so the same fundamental is applicable for viscosity as well measurement of friction is what we say the viscosity so more would be the friction more would be the viscosity and lesser would be the fluidity or lesser would be the flow of the liquid and vice versa you can calculate the viscosity with the coefficient and at the same time there are different units which you can see on your screen right now viscosity is dependent on the temperature but what has been seen in the case of liquid that if you increase the temperature viscosity decreases that means it becomes more fluid but in the case of gases when you increase the temperature the basically viscosity increases so basically fluidity decreases and the reason is because in liquid there are already intermolecular interactions when you increase the temperature so basically those intermolecular interactions break away and eventually it helps in the fluidity but on the other hand there is apparently no strong intermolecular interactions as compared to liquid and when you heat it up so basically they have more collision with each other and that is why it has less fluidity or more viscosity viscosity is important in many daily life applications right from lubrication in vehicle to cooking to medicine but one interesting example i would like to cite here is the viscosity of the blood so if the viscosity of blood is beyond what it should be normally basically it will try to clogged internally and if it is lesser than what it should be eventually the blood will be flowing once you are you are wounded and eventually it can lead to the death jay vigyan